Hello. <clears throat> we talk about co-workers issue, um, lost your job, how easy it is to lose your job, how easy for someone who is didn't go to school like you and please I'm not against people that don't go to school but we went to school as a nurse we got the skill and now other people want to tell us how to do our job the right way <clears throat> how many times you buy your stethoscope are you new nurses buying <clears throat> new stethoscopes every day tell me you, you ever see certain nurse let me tell you the good nurse and over the years I was a good nurse but over the years I digress when it comes to buying these expensive stethoscopes and this is what we're going to talk about today I mean I remember I mean, many a times, I don't understand how you could put your stethoscope right here and you get a phone call and the stethoscope is gone. I'm literally gone. Blue. Nobody know where it went. So I have an issue with these doctors. Yes, you hear it here from me. You hear it. I have a issue with the sticky fingers of the doctors. You know, they might say, oh, the nurses steal my stethoscope. I wish they would say that to me, but I don't think they would. Because most of the time, you may loan your, the doctor your stethoscope just for that minute. I don't know if it's because a lot of things going on in this his intelligent head that he just walk off or she walked off and just take your stethoscope 300 and something dollars out the door and forget they ever that you ever loan it to them when you see them the next time so new nurse this is for you I remember one day I'll tell you a story I spend like over $300 on this particular stethoscope. One of those Littmans. Nurses, if you old nurse and new nurse, you must know. When you're a new nurse, you buy everything new. You want the books new. You buy extra books. Can you put in your pocket? You want to know everything, every system and everything. You have the most expensive stethoscope. You have the most expensive shoes. Not not thinking that the shoes may not be comfortable, but you want to look fly. You know how you do it. Your uniform got to be crisp. And some of the nurses that I've seen, I'm going to be honest with you. They got this stethoscope, expensive stethoscope. They got the clean uniform. Everything. They got lots of pen in their pocket. They got their scissors. Oh, they got tape. They're so professional. But don't do a darn thing. And you didn't hear it from me. I call them the fake nurse. They want you to th think that they're real. But they're not. They're not doing anything. And that's not to bash nurses. Because I know somebody's going to say, why do I talk about nurses? I'm just talking about issues that are real to nursing that nobody want to talk about it. And I'm talking about my stethoscope that was stolen. I mean, I went to the trouble, and, I, and most of you nurses do. If you've been a nurse for a long time, you know how many stethoscopes that got stolen from you, too. Now, I have to be honest with you. If you give me your pen, you may not see it again. If it's right good, I'm going to take it. That's the bottom line. You're going to have to take it out my hand and remind me, Patrice, can I have my pen? And then that's another thing. We can never keep pens. 
I'm a pen whore. So anyway, I went to the trouble. I bought, the, I think it was 350 one of those Litmans. It has, uh, you could reverse one side. You could hear the heartbeat because some, some of the patients are quite heavy. And you can't really hear the heartbeat. So I bought the stethoscope that is, can go through anything. And you could hear anything it's very loud. You could hear the heartbeat. And I bought another one for the kids so you could hear them, hear it good. It was a very expensive stethoscope. And I went to the trouble of initial my, initial the stethoscope. My coworker asked me to borrow it. And I think I gave it to her. I might have put it, left it on the desk. I don't know what happened, but Nobody could find the stethoscope. So I'm going about my business and I'm thinking, being mad at the doctors, you know, in my own little world, say, they always doing it. I just pay that much money for the stethoscope. And it's disappear. Poof. You know that? You know, you know how you see something and you don't see it? It's just gone out of the blue. So the next day, this nurse came in. And you know how you see something and you say, oh, that looks familiar. But you don't want to go and say nothing. But you're looking at it like, hmm. Wait a minute. That looks like my little red stethoscope. So when I have to wait till she put it down now. So I could check it. So she, for the whole day, she hold on to it. And she was like, we used to talk. We're not really friends, but we're social, cordial, you, you want to say. But I noticed that she was very distant with me, you know. When, you, when somebody trying to do something to you, when someone has done something to you, they're very distant. They, you can tell that they're very uncomfortable around you. So eventually she put the stethoscope down and I went and look. And, you know, I'm, I said, this is my stethoscope. She said, no, 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 I bought the stethoscope. Where did you buy it? Tell me the store you bought it. Because the store specifically put my initial. I don't know what it is, but she, you could tell like a piece of it was cut out. Like she couldn't erase on the, um, the initial. So she's kind of like you scrape it out. She must have took it home and figured out a way to scrape out the initial. But I know... That's where, and that was my stethoscope. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to have to buy another one. But baby, back in the days, mm, when we used to pull up on the, meet me at in the med room, girlfriend. You have an issue? Meet me at the, at the nurse's station. Not at the nurse's station. But I'm going to meet you inside of the medication room. Nowadays, you can't do that. They got cameras. So you got to go in there. Hello. How you doing? That's what you got to do now. You can't do nothing in the med room because they got cameras. But back in the days, hmm, all sort of things happen in the med room. But I, I, I'm not about that life. So I let her have it. Furthermore, I let her have it and looked at her. I said, she needs that stethoscope because her, her uniform. Raggedy. But that's my co-worker. I can't talk about her because my uniform used to be raggy back in the days when I had stress. So I just let her have it. So sometimes you just got to overlook these conflict, these issues, people stealing your stuff. You, what, what are you going to do? You're going to fight? That's a easily terminated right there. 
Do you know if you fight, somebody stole your stuff? It's stuff. And I'm not, I know that it costs a lot of money. I really do, because I know about how much it costs. But what can you do? You have a choice. You're going to pull up on her in the med room. Then y'all start words, fight, and you lose your job. Do you know you could lose your license? Hmm? Hmm? Fighting on the job, fighting with your coworker, become a, they might take you for assault, whatever. I've been in a situation and nurses say, don't you know what's going on? I don't want to know what's going on in the med room. I really don't. I don't want to go. I don't want to be a witness to nobody fight and I don't want to be a part of it. So if I know that's going down, I try not even to be there. But if I see it, then I have to do something about it. I'm not going to let my coworker fight. I'm not going to let them lose their job. If I see someone, you know, this video is all about stolen. And sometime with the doctors going to take your stethoscope. It's not, I can't say, it is st stealing it, but I don't want to say it in a way, what I, what I want to say is that I think for the doctors, it was simple. They have a lot in their mind. Just give them credit. They got a lot in their mind and they just pick it up. But boy, can't they just bring their own stethoscope? They don't have to buy stethoscope because they take in the nurse's stethoscope. And that's I have an issue with. The stethoscope that they have, they do have free stethoscope at the hospital. But those expensive stethoscope that the doctors are using, it's the nurses buying it. So we're buying it because we need it. So when they take it from us, we gotta go out and buy it again. So it, I was upset because this wasn't the doctor this time I'm blaming. It was my coworker, you know, and right now I just wanted her to be honest up front. You needed it. Yeah, you could have it. You take it home by mistake. Use some. I have done that before. Just say I took it home by mistake. Look what I took. But when I take your pen and you get it from me, that's what I say. I'm I am. I admit, I take people pen because sometimes I don't have, I mean, all the pen that you take from me, I take it back. <clears throat> so it's your stethoscope, new nurses. Don't buy an expensive one. And if you do buy an expensive one, hold on to it. Hold on to it because it goes missing real fast. If you like this video, comment, share. I know it's a short video. I wanted to bring something to you. I hope that this video is helping new nurses and old nurses. And I'm going to be starting a, um, a Facebook group for nurses. And I'm... I'm asking that you come on along and support me. I'll leave a link. I'm creating it right now, and I need your support.